We're off to Albuquerque. The airships will take on the Banditos for the last game in the regular season. For them. Banditos have had a rough year. 2 and 11. Airships have uh, been struggling. Looking for a 7 and 7 record. We'll see how that goes. <clears throat> At this point, the airships have clinched second place in Rocky Division, and Banditos have missed out on the playoffs. Only four teams don't go to the playoffs, the unlucky four. Uh, so checking out the... There we go. Checking out the airships. They are currently on a two-loss streak. Uh, been two on, two off for a while now. And uh, losing to the Mountaineers and the Devils. Um, but they did beat the Banditos in week three in overtime. So this might be a closer game than I'm expecting. But we'll see. A lot has changed since week three. Banditos are on a seven loss streak. Looking to stop that before the regular season is over. They have a long way to go to... Uh, fix themselves for uh, for season two. But anyways, let's go. El Paso Banditos versus Albuquerque Airships. And here we are in Albuquerque. Beautiful stadium here for the airships. It's a sunny late afternoon game. Ready, break. We start off with a touchback. Oh, so looking at the players, Long is the quarterback for the airships. Hill will do the running. Long is currently Ready, fifth break. in uh, all quarterbacks in the league. Whereas Hill is yeah, 13. <laughs> Shannon Stone getting the catch. Shannon Stone, one of the best receivers, fifth, re fifth best receiver in the league. Looking to uh, improve his standings. The Banditos, the third best defense as they just pummel. That Stone. Ramirez with the deflection. Banditos, third best defense in the league. Even with that, they have a 2-11 record. Definitely need more than just a defense in this league. Hill, a three-yard run to bring up third and seven. Bandito's second most sacks in the league. And first in interceptions. So if they want a chance at all, they're going to have to uh, really use their defense here because their offense is uh, not where it should be. Fourth and seven, they do stop the airships and bring out the punting team, which is going to be a touchback. <clears throat> so looking at the Banditos offense, Chamberlain leading the team as the quarterback. I don't remember who the running back is. It's Gray, Gary Gray. I remember Gary Gray. Chamberlain is the worst quarterback in the league at 16th. <laughs> Whereas Gray is not much better at 11th or 10th, I can't tell. Oh, he's quite. So, uh, and he was offense not looking good and it shows in the game right now. Third and 15, a fumble. Chamberlain does recover the fumble. Chamberlain doing something right here. Ready, break. That brings out the fourth down anyways. So they'll turn the ball over in a better spot. So with that start, it's not looking good for the Banditos. Uh, the airship's defense is 15th in the league. They have been struggling very much. Only getting one interception all year. Their offense is another story. Great pass to Hanson for 20 yards. Brings up the first down. 
Long and a shotgun formation. And he's running for it. Ratings wise, Long is, I think, the best quarterback in the league. He's really got a lot of speed and a lot of accuracy and strength in his throwing. And his speed shows there. Here with a good run for seven yards. Long has the best complete completion percentage in the league at 83.2%. Well, he's got 50 right now as he hands it off to Hill. It's a fumble. Lopez with the recovery. And finally stopped by Long. That gets the Banditos a good start to their second drive. A minute and 20 left in the first quarter already. A good throw from Chamberlain, but it's knocked out of the receiver's hands by Riley. Chamberlain very upset by that, able to actually get a good pass off, and it's beaten out of the receiver. One more run. with a great run up the middle for eight yards, but it's not enough for the first. Ready, it's fourth and one. And they're gonna kick a field goal. Sanders, out to kick, and that looks good to me. 56 yard kick. He had extra room on that one. That was his longest kick of the season. His longest before was 55, so beating that by one yard. From that kick, it looks like he uh, he had room for more. Ready, Good kick break. there. Sanders is one of the best kickers in the league. Yeah. It shows there. No gain from Hill. So Banditos Ready, lead this one, three to zero. Airships struggling to find anything happen in the first. Four yard run there. It's third and six. Ready, break. Five, four, two. Five, four, two. Good throw to Stone in traffic for 11 yards. And the first down. That's the second quarter. Or sorry, that's the first quarter. <laughs> Bandito's three airships. Nothing. Hill with a huge run here, 21 yards. He's coming out to play, 40 yards already. His most in the game is 85. Averages just 28 yards a game, so he's almost doubling that. Another fumble here though. Covered by Long this time. Hill dropped it. There's a lot of fumbles happening right now. It's not a promising for either team. Get long with a good throw to Logan up the middle for nine. It's still third and seven though. Ready, right. and here goes Hill. Oh. Jukes into the backfield and loses a yard. To Henderson's tackle. That's not what I want to see. Fourth down now. Austin here to kick. And that is going to be a miss. Only Austin's second field goal of the year, and it's a miss. But that doesn't bode well at all. They missed their opportunity to tie the game. Chamberlain. Decent pass at the middle, but dropped. 86. I'm not sure who that is. Ready, break. Razor, razor. Very, very unfortunate. <laughs> Another drop. Gray can't hold on to it. Jordan Rios with the deflection. Ready, break. With the two on third down conversions. 
and sacked. This time by Ivan Moss. Nine yard loss and the fourth down. So Chamberlain is actually throwing pretty decent, but his receivers are dropping the pass on their own or through very hard hits from the airship's defense. So honestly, he's just unlucky right now. And the airship's good to go again. Long's going to run for this one. Get six on that. Long running again, but a sack from Robert Ramirez. And that makes it third and seven. Long the pass. Wide open is Stone, and he gets the first. Maybe the chains, another set of downs. Just a minute and 50 seconds left to go in this first half. Long to pass again. Dangerous pass to Stone at the middle, but he makes it work. 15-yard catch. Another set of downs. Looking to at least tie the game before the end of the first half. They will be getting the ball back, I think, right? No, no, no. Home team kicks. Uh, for a second half, so they will not be getting the ball back. They can't really rely on their kicker, as we've just seen. Missing that easy uh, three point. I guess it wasn't easy. One timeout left, another set of downs. A minute and 23 seconds left to go. Turn up to Logan. Just two. Ready, break! And another handoff to Hill. Huge hit. Third and one. Airships are out of timeouts now. They have a minute left. And Hill manages to get the first down. And they're in a pretty good spot for their kicker, but they're so close they might be able to get a touchdown here in the red zone. Shotgun formation. Stone wide open in the middle. 12 yards. Getting closer and closer. Ball in the six. 41 seconds left. Plenty of time. McBride. Good catch there. For six. Ball on the one. Might see a run from a hill here up the middle. Long's throwing it. Dangerous throw. But McBride gets the catch for the touchdown. And the airships take the lead before the half. They're going for two. Why? <laughs> okay. It's a good one up the middle. Stone running through defenders as they hit each other. <laughs> For two points, and now it's three to eight. Before the half is over. And a kick return here. A decent one for 20 yards. I don't think it gets him to the 25. 14 Ready, seconds right. left to go. It'd be dangerous passing this. The Chamberlain's record. And it's a fumble in the backfield and a touchdown. Terrence Hansen with the fumble recovery for the touchdown. And going for another extra point here to rub it in. Long going for the run, but they can't make it happen. So just like that, airships are up by 11 points. And uh, not looking good for the Panditas after that quarter. So here's the halftime. 14 to 7. One turnover each. 
both for fumbles. And just 12 yards for the Banditos offense versus 175 for the Airships offense. Airships defense doing work. Three sacks, two deflections versus Banditos one sack and one deflection. And 28 tackles. like it's going to be a very close game after all. And let's get into it. Second half underway. Very shallow punt here from Austin. <laughs> Trying to get the tackle but got destroyed. <laughs> Austin's got heart. Ready, break. Ooh, that's about it. All right, first drive of the second half for the Banditos. Chamberlain, two pass. Just an absolute wild pass deflected from Hansen. Man who got the fumble recovery Ready, for the touchdown. Could have had an interception there and probably a pick six. How close they are to the end zone. But, uh, another down here. Chamberlain has all day scrambles for five. Ready, break. Third and five now, 0 for three on third down conversions. I'm feeling that's not gonna change. It does, Gray. Squeaks by for 16 yards and the first down. First third down conversion Ready, of the break. day for them and the first first down for them. 0 for 4, Chamberlain fumbled. Ramsey with the recovery. Can he get there? He does. Another fumble recovery for a touchdown. This time by Ramsey. There's Austin for an extra point. Can at least do that. That's good. 21 to 3. thought that this would be closer than it than I thought it would be but uh Ready, no. break. turns out uh, that was wrong Chamberlain again oh bad pass there Banditos are very excited to uh, replace their quarterback <laughs> Gary Gray isn't a horrible runner I mean at the stats he's 12th right so he's, uh, he's not the worst in the league but he's not he's definitely not the best and he's way better than Chamberlain so getting them to replace Chamberlain would be ideal though 15 yard catch up to try bash Chamberlain so hard he's one for seven now back to pass again Ooh, nobody open there. I think Tin dove and got his hands on it. Ready, break. Maybe preventing the uh, defense from getting the easy interception. Good on number 10 there. Chamberlain again. Wide open up the middle is Griffin, and it's a good pass for 22 yards. So not all hope is lost. Dangerous pass there. And Brian just deflects it. Could be much worse than that. Second and ten. Chamberlain going up the middle, deflected by Andy Page, his first of the day. And third and ten. They're two and five for third down conversions today. And that changes to two and six. Parker gets the massive sack. 
And it's fourth down. That might have pushed them out of field goal range just barely. What a pretty good punt there from Anderson. I think that gets them on the, oh, 15. But that was closer to the 10. The 10. Long with the pass, the screen to Hansen, and it's stopped by Ramirez. Been having a pretty good game today. Seven tackles, one sack, two for a loss. Two tackles for a loss? Or three. Long pass. Huge one to Hansen for 35 yards. Great play there. Pass the stone up the middle for six. Well in traffic, but uh, makes it happen anyway. 215 total offensive yards today for the airships. Long running for it. Eight yards on the run. He's ran seven times already today. And, uh, it's not been great for him. He's 13 and uh, 13 out of 15 passes though. A good completion percentage. And the run brings up second and fourth. Not a great pass there from Long, but he was under pressure. James, deflection. And that is the third quarter. Started out pretty uh, exciting and then really slowed down on this drive. Airship's just wasting the clock down. Hill not able to get the first down. And Rainer's fourth down well within field goal range. They're not going to go for that though. Fourth down conversion here. Hill, I don't think he got it. No, he didn't. Just barely. I don't think the AI can dive. <laughs> It'd be kind of cheap though. Diving in this game is really strong. So I'm okay. Turnover on downs. Chamberlain to throw, but the airship's pass defense is all over it. Second and ten. Wind is against them at four miles per hour. Not too much, but it's definitely going to affect their field goal chances, but they get an interception, so it doesn't really matter. Collier with the interception. Chamberlain averages <laughs> uh, four interceptions a game, so this being his first is uh, actually pretty impressive. Along with a run, great spin move there from the quarterback. Five yard run. Second and five. 144 yards for Long. Oh, and a fumble. This time recovered by the Banditos for a turnover. They have one interception and one fumble recovery. Uh, I don't know, actually. It might be two fumbles. Chamberlain, do you pass? He's now 2 and 14. <laughs> His uh, completion average is 22%, so he's right on target. And a screen to Griffin, leaving him out to dry. As Drake demolishes him. Third and 12. And a incompletion. 86 just drops it. Ready, Chamberlain visibly frustrated. Just can't get anything to work. Even when he does everything right, it just doesn't go right for him. Another pass, another drop. <laughs> oh, it's a turnover. I didn't know it was fourth down. And the Banditos. I didn't actually watch the Wayfinders game, I just put it on and ran away, so I don't know how the Wayfinders did. But I feel like just the, well they lost 0-33, to but I just feel like the Banditos just have nothing going on. Just kind of 
I like the Browns two years ago, right? Like Owen 17 or whatever it was. <laughs> Ready, break. Third and two. It's not bashing on the bandit is. I want them to be better. I want them to have a comeback story. Hill getting the first down. Four yard run. Second and five. All along, just getting blindsided by Henderson. Ready, break. Five, one, two. Five, one, two. And a fumble here by Hill. Another turnover. Sacked in the back foot by Parker, second of the day for him. And time uh, running out. Bandito's not calling any timeouts. And this is another drop pass. I don't know if the quarterback has uh, anything to do with those. Like if you have like bad accuracy, is it hard for the receivers to catch it anyways? Even if it's on target? I don't know. It feels like that. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, the receivers aren't good. I don't think they're good. So, I can't blame it all on Jamie, even though I want to. Fourth and 19. I think that was deflected that time. It was. Oh no, it was deflected. Okay. <laughs> and another turnover. Ready, break! First down for the airships in great position. Four yard run up the middle for Hill. Running that clock down. So with this, the Banditos in the season with a two and 12 record. And the airships go 50% with a seven and seven record. They are currently uh, the fourth team with the 7-7 seven seven record in the league. So uh, with their quarterback being who he is and their receivers being who they are, um, they have a really good shot at Season 2. Not sure what they go for. Maybe better defense. Maybe better O-line as well. Yeah, better defense for sure. They're 15th defense. I want a better kicker. Austin sucks. <laughs> So they're uh, they're looking really good. They're looking really promising for season two. So with that touchdown, I didn't even know I was <laughs> distracted. This game ends twenty-eight to three. Airship sneaking in one last touchdown. In a massive shutout here for the home crowd in Albuquerque, New Mexico. So 68 total yards for the Bandidos offense and 256 for the airships. Three turnovers each. Um, yeah, I think it was three fumbles. Yeah, three fumbles for uh, the airships. Maybe there's a fourth down conversion that they didn't get. I don't know. I can't remember. But. Two or two or four, uh, sorry, two or three fumbles. And uh, El Paso, they got a few fourth down turnovers, so I don't know if that counts. But uh, yeah. six sacks though total for the airships. Huge day for them. They do not normally do that. Their average is four sacks a game, so huge improvement there. Chamberlain, three out of twenty. 35 yards and one interception. Just one, though. That's very impressive. Um, Bailey and Griffin they all dropped a lot of those passes. 
Griffin getting two of them for 20 yards. Gray running five times for 28 yards. I'm not seeing much action from him. Long, 13 out of 16, 144 yards, one touchdown. 13 runs for 22 yards. That's uh, excessive. <laughs> Stone, six receptions, 65 yards. It's in three receptions, 54 yards. Patterson, nothing. And Hill, nothing for passing. 19 runs, 68 yards. Logan, six runs, 22 yards. The uh, tight end for one touchdown. Good for him. Defenses, two sacks, two deflections, no interceptions for the Banditos. And grand total of six sacks, uh, seven. Seven deflections, one interception, two fumble recoveries for touchdowns from Hanson and Ramsey. Dickie Sanders, one for one on field goals. Beating his record long of 55 with a 56 yard kick. Three punts from Anderson. Austin missing one field goal. His only field goal attempt of the day. Two extra points. One punt from Duncan. And that's going to do it for the Rocky Division. And uh, that does it for the airships and the banditos for the regular season. Airships will be going to the playoffs in position two of the Rocky Division. We'll check the league schedule or league standings in a second. And banditos end the season with an eight loss streak and just 138 points for the lowest in the league. A lot lower than the the second worst which is the twisters and they haven't even played yet but that does it for the rocky division mountaineers win the division airships come second devils third and banditos dead last which they missed the uh, playoffs looking at the standings uh airships move up above the dicers taking that seed away from them banditos dead last in the entire league 